Hey, what's up everyone? This is Silver Slayer. Today is your lucky day. You have an opportunity, actually several opportunities to get free silver shipped straight to your front doorstep. I'm doing a 46,000 subscriber silver giveaway. So in a couple hundred subscribers, we're going to be doing that, but that's not it. I'm also doing a 47,000 subscriber silver giveaway, a 48,000 giveaway, 49,000 subscriber giveaway, and a 50,000 subscriber giveaway, and tons and tons of giveaways until the end of my YouTube career, which isn't going to happen anytime soon, probably never. Always going to be posting daily videos as long as I stack, and I plan on stacking for another 15 years, and probably even after that. So, we have a lot of giveaways for the next couple decades, if you know what I mean, and more than likely, you're going to win one of them. I mean, I'm doing two winners per giveaway, so your chances are doubled. Make sure you're subscribed, turn, turn on post notifications, click the bell, so you get instantly notified when those entry videos get posted, but also when I post daily videos. I have a new upload schedule, 11 a.m., 5 p.m., and 11 p.m., Eastern Standard. Today, I'm not going off the schedule, but that will start tomorrow. So every single day, know that 11 a.m., 5 p.m., and 11 p.m. So 11, 5, 11, a video will be presented to you. Easy enough. It's going to be great. I want to take my channel a step further. I'm trying to innovate the, 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 the silver stacking world, the precious metals world like we've never seen before. We have a lot of stuff going on. I hope you're excited because I am. So Anyways, Junk Silver is by far the most underrated silver there is. Constitutional Silver, aka Junk Silver, is beautiful. It's a piece of American history. They're government-backed coins. They don't make the stuff anymore pre-1965, so as years go on, they're going to become harder and harder to find as they get, you know, swept out of circulation as people keep them it's it, there's a lot to it pre-1965 silver is already scarce and as they become more scarce the premiums are going to get higher a perfect example is morgan silver dollars morgan silver dollars stopped being minted in 1921 and since that's already been you know a, a while from now a century from now look at the the premiums starting to build on morgans they're they're almost growing into a numismatic coin instead of just a bullion you know selling it for the metal inside of it because people collect them if the conditions are kept good you can catch a hefty premium the same thing is going to start happening to constitutional silver it just came out you know they, they stopped being produced in 19 you know pre-1965 so morgans have the the up leg on it but now morgans are starting to so i definitely could see constitutional silver being sold less for the silver inside of it the 90 percent you know the 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 90 percent of silver inside of it and more for the collectability as their as as collectors see them as a piece of american history that's a big thing but not only that it's also perfect for fractional silver. If you have a dollar bill and you go to the store and want something that's 75 cents, what do you do? You get change. Or if you give them a dollar, you get change back. Well, what if you're going to be trading or bartering with silver if you have all one ounce coins, but you're trading or bartering for something that's worth less than an ounce of silver? And as silver's value goes up, an ounce of silver might be worth something that's you know, $100 of value, what if you need something only like a loaf of bread and, and, and whatever? What, are you going to take a chainsaw to your coin and cut it in fourths? No. Fractional silver is perfect. But since they still have to stamp fractional silver generic rounds, they're pricey. So constitutional silver, a.k.a. junk silver, is the perfect way to stack fractional silver along with getting all the other benefits that come along with it, like I previously just mentioned. It is perfect. It is perfect. Mercury dimes are equivalent to a tenth ounce generic round, right? My favorite are barber quarters, barber half dollars, 
and uh, walking liberty half dollars but there's all types there's barber dimes there's there's a lot of different types of junk silver and the condition isn't always that bad you could still get coins for fairly decent condition and as the years go on that coins profit or the the premium will rise as the condition stays good so there's a lot of opportunity here folks a lot of under uh, of, of overlooked underrated opportunity so anyways i found an article from provident metals talking about the ins and the outs of junk silver what to know and when to invest it's a great article very well written i really think that uh, you guys are going to enjoy this if we want to talk about constitutional silver this is definitely the article that that we should be covering so let's jump into it the link will be in the description Prior to 1965, American dimes, quarters, and half-dollar coins that were circulated through the U.S. market were 90% silver. Now, I'm also going to tell you guys or teach you guys how to tell how much actual silver is inside of a coin or how to determine if you're buying junk silver, how to tell how much actual silver you're getting to see if the price is right. So this is what we're going to do very simple people try to overcomplicate the absolute crap out of this it's so simple so this is what you do since it's 90 percent silver there are it, it's uh it you, you have to use a formula right so what you do is face value times 0.715 and that will tell you how much actual silver in troy ounces there is so let's say you're at the local coin shop and you want to buy ten dollars worth of face value so if you want to see if the price is right or if you're getting ripped off on ebay or something you would do 10 times 0.715 and that is 7.15 so there's seven ounces of actual silver so then you could do seven times whatever spot price is and see if the price would be right for that for you know and a lot of people don't think of this like this and they will try to scam you on ebay because what they're going to do is sell it in actual grams not or actual ounces not troy ounces and i've seen this happen time and time again or they'll take they'll take advantage of people that are newer or people that don't know that formula and try to try to rip them off so be careful that's a simple formula face value times 0.715 and it's that easy so anyways when first minted pre-1965 a face bag a bag with a net value of a thousand dollars of these 90 percent silver coins would contain a net of 723 ounces of silver over time the natural wear that would occur on these coins throughout their circulation would diminish the net mass of silver considered to be contained within a face bag of silver coins decreasing the equivalent net of about 7.15 ounces of silver so they're saying that as these coins get worn down silver is actually worn off of them so uh it it you know if you have a bag of perfectly brilliant uncirculated coins there's it would weigh heavier than a whole bunch of coins that have been worn you know wear and tear over the last several years the value of this junk silver comes from the fact that there has no longer been any 90 percent silver u.s coins minted since 1965 meaning there's a finite amount of these junk silver coins for this reason the value of these numismatical worthless coins is quite high on the market right they're they're and they say worthless because they're not they're not money anymore right there's no way you would ever go to the store and buy something for 50 cents and hand them a walking liberty 50 cent piece right back in the day there was 50 cents of actual silver in that coin so it was worth 50 cents nowadays there's not you know there, there's still 50 cents worth of silver but the coin isn't sold at face value it's sold for the metal inside of it so back in the day i could get a gallon of gas with the walking liberty half dollar and today i can still get a gallon of gas with a walking liberty half dollar if i teleported into the future and with just that one coin i could still get a gallon of gas or something worth that value from back in the day to today back in the day it was the face value 50 cents could get me a gallon of gas back in the day nowadays a gallon of gas isn't 50 cents 
but I could take that walking liberty half dollar, go to my local coin shop, sell that coin for $10 and go get myself a gallon of gas and more. So you can see how silver is timeless. It's timeless. Inflation kicks in. Things get more expensive over time, but one ounce of silver is always going to have one ounce of silver in it. The value of junk silver has changed little since the late 1960s, but it has gone through its passages of increased spot prices, melting and selling. And as people melt and, and, and hold on to these coins, there's going to become less and less in circulation, making them more and more rare, and it's only going to push the price up. So premiums that have exceeded over the value of 20% over the silver spot price, there's been one time particular where spot price of junk silver genuinely exploded, right? There, it's only going to become a more profitable, higher uh, priced coin. The time that most affected the spot price of junk silver was around the crisis of Y2K. The conspiracy scare in which people believed that the world's computers would crash upon entrance into the 21st century, leading to the downfall of modern civilization as we know it. Due to these conspiracy fears, people began investing in junk silver in case the digital banking and monetary system crashed altogether. And yes, junk silver is a perfect way to um, invest into silver because it's, it's legal tender. It's a government-backed coin compared to some shun the sunshine mint 10th ounce round you know, if you're not a silver stacker and you saw a sunshine mint round, you would probably think it's fake or you wouldn't know that it's, you wouldn't believe it's as legit as a government backed coin, right? It's a lot harder to fake those. And people recognize U.S. mint, it's an American coin. Okay, it's real. But when they, they're like, what is sunshine? What's a Volcambi bar? You could see how that might cause some, some, you know, confusion and also some scare, especially if you're going to be bartering in an SHTF type situation. That could be a very serious situation so anyways while the junk silver spot price might have fallen since the time of y2k this example from recent history showed how easily the premiums of junk silver can shift during times of economic stagnation investing in junk silver can be a smart idea for this very reason but it depends on the needs of each person right and that's just one reason we've also talked about so many other reasons so why junk silver is useless coin to collectors and right now it might be but let's see what they have to talk about while junk silver has historical value due to it being minted prior to 1965 the coins are of no interest to coin collectors due to the natural wear the coins have experienced and yes when you're looking at some coin collectors and i say some condition is everything right they want coins in perfect condition brilliant uncirculated ms70 right if i'm buying any slab coins i only buy ms70 pf70 ultra cameo or or you know gem gem proof but when it comes to extremely old coins you know coins that are from the 1800s or early 1900s even an ng plus or an ms65 or 64 is still uh, it, it, that's not bad, especially if you're looking at a coin that's over 100 years old, the coin is never going to be in perfect condition. And some of these junk coins you can get in pretty good condition, even just buying a used bag. Now, you can also buy graded or coins for condition on eBay, just like Morgan Silver Dollars. You can get slabbed in Morgans. You can buy, you know, rolls or, or bags of, of Morgans, even a dollar face of Morgans on eBay. And the condition won't be too bad. Now, you have to be careful because people will try to, uh, I guess, um, up the ante of the condition, try to exaggerate that the coin's condition is better than it is. So if you can't tell with your own eyes what an MS-64 should look like, then you got to be careful because people are scamming that way, going on eBay saying the condition's way better than it is, so they'll list the price for way higher than it is, and, and people fall for it when the coin isn't worth that much money. So coin collectors are most interested in coins that are of high quality grade. The quality grade are usually noted by a collector for their detail, that is unmarked edges that are visibly clean and more. This means coins should be as close to the original condition as possible. But when it comes to a coin like this, it's not all, that's not so black and white, just like with Morgans, just like with other really old coins, the condition is never going to be in brilliant uncirculated condition. So you can't always go by that. And these coins are still collectible, extremely collectible. So 
One of the main questions people tend to have when searching for junk silver is the question whether or not the coins in your possession, dimes, quarters, and half dollars, are actually junk silver or not. One of the easiest ways to determine this is by looking at the edge of the coin in your possession. And yes, you look when you watch coin roll hunters open up a roll of coins, they can tell which one, if there has any silver coins in there, instantly. They don't have to go through and look at the dates for each coin. They just look at the edges and they'll be able to say, oh, there's no, you know, they literally don't even check any of the dates. You can tell if there's a pre-1965 coin in there compared to an earlier or to an older coin just by the edge. If you've ever held onto an older quarter or dime, one that has seen a lot of circulation, it has accumulated a fair amount of wear, you'll notice that its edge has become brown. If the coins in your possession have this characteristic, it means that the coin primarily consists of copper, not silver. However, if you have an older coin whose edges are still silver, even following a great deal of wear throughout its time in circulation, this means you're in possession of a silver coin. So they just look at the edges. If one is more silver and the other one looks more copper, they know that they have a pre-1965 coin. Now, why should you buy junk silver? They're probably going to explain a lot of the different reasons I already explained, but let's see if they bring some new tables to the point. While there are easy ways to determine whether the coins you own are con considering it purchasing or silver or not, there are a number of notions to consider when purchasing. In particular, if you are unsure of whether the investment is worth it, you should take the benefits of junk silver into consideration of which these are both numerous and noteworthy, right? There is definitely a lot of, of, of benefits. So benefit one limited risk with notable gains, right? That's true. There's no risk to investing fake money or transferring fake money into real money. And there's a lot of reasons why this coin could become more profitable. Investing in both silver bullion and junk silver has a great deal of potential for investors seeking to increase the value of their portfolio. The value of silver you own, which has high potential and low risk, is based off the sp Sprout price, which has recently resided from anywhere between $14 and $15 per ounce. Right now, it's definitely not $14, $15 per ounce. It's around $26, but at the time of writing this, it was. It's actually pretty crazy because over the last 10 years, the average price of silver is around $15. But people that just started stacking recently, they only have seen $26 silver. So, like, man, silver was $14 or $15 one time? It's like, yeah, not even a couple of years ago it was. The primary benefit with silver is that it's not fiat currency like the U.S. dollar. Value of the dollar shifts with the economy where it is continued to decline. Silver remains steady. One ounce of silver is always going to have one ounce of silver in it, regardless who says the price tag is worth what. So uh, benefit two, low premiums at face value. Benefit three, ownership of your investment. Benefit four, planning ahead for the worst. Right? I mean, when if, especially if you are an SHTF stacker or if you're an SHTF prepper, I can guarantee 100% of them own gold and silver. Why? Because that's the, that's the main way to trade. If silver has been valuable or seen as, as exchange or formable uh, way to exchange money for something of value for the last 5,000 years. Why? Because it's the perfect thing to exchange. It has real value inside of it, intrinsical value, meaning that the value isn't the price tag attached to the coin. It's the one ounce of silver inside of it. And since gold and silver have so many different beneficial properties, especially silver, you know, it's the most uh, highly conductive metal for thermal conductivity and electricity electricity, even light sensitivity. It has, it has antimicrobial properties. If you drop a one ounce silver coin in a gallon of milk, it can purify it. Or I mean, it keeps the milk uh, from going stale. If you drop a one ounce silver coin inside water, it purifies the water. You know, there's colloidal silver. There's so many different types of, of things that silver can do. And for the last several thousand years, they've known that. So um, anyways, you know, there's or here, let's see right here. So, 715 ounces in the standard mass price to ratio used measure uh, for or measure 
the equivalent silver spot price means when spot price increased by one cent the value of the bag of silvers increases by seven dollars and fifteen cents furthermore if silver spot price increases by ten cents the value of the bag of the silver coins would increase by seven the one dollars and fifty cents and that's because of the amount of silver inside of it which is uh i guess you would say 0.715 so since there's 90 percent silver 0.715 is 90 percent well that's the that's the the actual amount there's if you're looking at one being the whole 0.715 is 90 percent and that's how much silver is inside of it now they said it was seven or 0.723 or something but since there's so much wear on these coins it's 0.715 that they go by so anyways uh i hope you enjoyed this video do you invest into junk silver constitutional silver and if you didn't are you now thinking about it or do you see why this is so undervalued because nobody really talks about it. If you go to your local coin shop, most people are going to say, hey, let me get an American Eagles. Or if they're on Atmex, they're going to look at pandas and kookaburras. They're not really saying, oh, I'm going to go get $10 face of mercury dimes. They don't really think about that. They, they don't do that. And that's because it's so overlooked and not talked about. But there is so much benefit, actually more reasons to buy junk silver than a lot of other types of silver. So anyways, I'm going to wrap this video up here. If you thought this video was one, educational, two, informational, three, at least entertaining, make sure to smash the like button. Remember, I'm doing tons of giveaways. Comment down below what you think about this. Click that bell as well because you're going to get instantly notified. Remember, I started a new post schedule, 11 a.m., 5, or no, yeah, yeah, 11 a.m., 5 p.m., and 11 p.m. So 11, 5, 11 or sometimes, well, actually might be 10, 5, 10. I don't know yet. It's one of those two. So 5 p.m. is for sure every day. And it's going to be, a video will be up around 10 or 11 a.m. and 10 or 11 p.m. So anyways, thanks for tuning in. The link to this article will be in the description. This is Silver Slayer. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.